Hi, I'm John Losing, a member of the Prostate Awareness Foundation. Cancer climbs for prostate awareness. Each year, the Prostate Awareness Foundation, or PAF, sends climbers to the top of some of the world's most important and highest mountains in an effort to raise funds and awareness in the fight against prostate cancer. It's a disease that still claims the lives of more than 30,000 men each year. Now, we're here in Quito, Ecuador, at Mito del Mundo, literally the middle of the earth, standing on the equator, zero latitude and zero longitude, and we're here because this is the site of this year's uh, Prostate Awareness Foundation Cancer Climb for Prostate Awareness, and it's at nearby Mount Cotopaxi, Ecuador. Join us as the adventure begins. We got our first chance to get out of the wind on this uh, windy approach climb to Cote Epoxy using this stone wall as, a, as an ice windbreak. So, having a bite to eat and our first chance to visit with PAF Director Ken Malik. Ken, okay, why Hi, don't you everybody. tell us? Yeah, tell us where we are on the program. Well, so far. we're at, uh, right now we're at 12,400 feet, and we're trying to stay out of the wind. We're building some team spirit. This is our second day of acclimatization. Many of us arrived five or six days ago into Quito, some of us uh, not too long ago. And uh, we're just catching our breath. Everybody's getting tightened up uh, in terms of teamwork, and things are going real well. The weather's cooperating, and uh, it's a beautiful day in the Andes. I think what amazes me most about this part of the acclimatization climb is the fact that even here at almost 13,000 feet, you can see the terrain is still lush, it's fertile, probably because of the volcanic nature of the geology. And there is still plenty of foliage, even way up this high. Local fruit for a snack called a granadilla. Granadilla, that's right. And uh, part of the pomegranate family, look at that, just delicious. Eat everything inside. Go ahead, Darren. Darren Paul from Vancouver, one of our Canadian climbers. Good, huh? Excellent break. Walking now with Brad Neal of Austin, Texas, veteran prostate cancer climber, Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa, Mont Blanc, France, and El Misti, Peru. Brad's brother passed away from prostate cancer. And this Cote Epoxy expedition has been called the Tim Neal Memorial Climb. Brad, tell us about your brother and his struggle against the disease. Uh, well, actually, this is a, a perfect example of, of why uh, we do these climbs. Tim was a uh, a procrastinator and my dad was diagnosed many years ago and Tim uh, uh, waited until he was uh, in his 50s uh, diagnosed uh, just before the Kilimanjaro 03 climb and just passed away this past September. Fortunately I've got a great group of guys and gals to help me take his ashes to the top of Cotopaxi. It's day four of our Cotopaxi acclimatization program and we're going to summit this 15,000 foot peak Mount Rumanawi, near Cotopaxi. King Rumanawi was a, actually General Rumanawi, was an Inca leader who used these rugged hills and highlands to hide out from the Spanish conquistadors. Don't ask me how we're going to get to that peak up there, but we'll do it and I'll see you at the top. Here comes our two female climbers, Shane and Malik from New York, and there's Lynette Frazier. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Que pasó? Ole, ole. And Tom Hyde. Yes, sir. Everybody. Here's Doug Minnelli from New York who now lives in China, so he's come a long way to take part in the Cote Epoxy expedition. Doug, tell us how you got involved. It's been, what, seven, eight, nine years since you've been climbing, right? Yeah, I guess it's been eight years. I first got involved in 2001 when my father had prostate cancer, and uh, he passed away in 2005, uh, 2004. Um, but it's it's good to get to the mountains and do this to kind of bring his, his name and his legacy and continue it on and it's exciting to do this with the guys that we have here, the camaraderie and the Prostate Awareness Foundation, so that's grown to be a really fantastic team.
cold and windy up here, and we just had a little mid mishap. Uh, we had some rock fall, and um, our rock climbers got hit. We're hoping he's okay. Uh, we're two days away from summoning uh, Mount Cotopaxi. Day six of the Cotopaxi Altitude Preparation Program program is over, and we begin our ascent now to the 15,500-foot refuge camp, where we'll try to rest a little bit perhaps grab a few hours of sleep, but that'll be impossible. Nerves are on edge, anxiety is high, because at midnight, we begin our summit attempt, and midnight is only about 10 hours away. Mount Cotopaxi, Ecuador is a 19,350 foot mountain. It is said to be the highest freestanding volcano in the world. And when we get to the top around sunrise, we'll try to take a look inside. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. Careful. Go ahead. Take up the slack. Who knows? Two, three a.m. Maybe halfway through our grueling nighttime climb. All crampon work from here on out. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't start paying attention here again. Well, at approximately 6 a.m. on June 23rd, uh, Brad Neal made it to the summit of Mount Cotopaxi and delivered the ashes of his deceased brother who had passed away from prostate cancer. So did several other members of the team at SUNUP. Prostate Awareness Foundation Director Ken Malik, almost to the top and hit with a little bit of altitude sickness, but this is one tough mountain and it was conquered today by members of the Prostate Awareness Foundation.